Hey, what's up, Super Dads and other denizens of YouTube? So I'm here with a bit of a different approach, a bit of different content today. This video is going to be about the thing that I've found after being in a marriage for seven, eight years and in the same relationship, uh, or sorry, not the same relationship, relationship with the same person for 15 years now. The thing that I've found uh, has the best benefit in terms of my you know, sex and intimate life with my partner. And it's really simple, but it doesn't mean it's easy, as with so many things. Here's what we start with. We start with what we don't do. What we don't do is we don't build up sex, the act of having sex with your partner. Uh, and what I mean by building it up, not physically building up, but emotionally and mentally building it up, allowing it to accumulate a whole lot of baggage, allowing you, you know, propositioning your partner or attempting to seduce your partner or you know basically saying hey i want to have sex you can't allow that act to have a whole lot of meaning um, attached to it meaning about your own value about what your relationship is about how she thinks about you any of that kind of stuff because the more you build it up and the more that each time you ask or bring up the topic of sex the more that you attach to it the less, the less you're going to get to have sex. So what should we do? It's really simple. Ask more, react less. Ask more, react less. So asking to have sex more, bringing up having sex more, talking about sex more, and, and reacting less to whatever her response is. So if you say, hey, I'd really like to spend some time with you tonight. Um, I'm feeling like, you know what I mean? Let's have some sex. <laughs> Please don't say it like that. Uh, that was super awkward, but you get the idea. You know, you bring it up. You say, hey, I was wondering if we could have some sex tonight. Um, okay, in that case, she says, what? Uh, I'm not feeling well. My head hurts. My stomach hurts. I'm super tired. I have this thing to do for work or whatever it is. Your reaction is what? Uh, it's been three weeks. Uh, this sort of thing. No. Your reaction is what? Nothing. Oh, okay. Walk away. Okay? So you're going to ask more in whatever way you're comfortable with. Try not to make it weird and awkward. Right? Just something as simple as, hey, can we have sex? Real simple. And then reacting less to whatever it is that she says. And what that also means is if she says, uh, yeah, okay. You're not like, yes, I did it. Oh. Um, okay, no. Again, that's not reacting less. You need to show that you are in control of your libido and your, your, you know, your needs, your desires in that space of your life. And that is going to, you know, she's going to find that to be appealing. Okay, now, why is this so important and why does it work so well? Well, first of all, obviously, asking more is going to allow you to take more shots. And you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So take a lot of shots and you're going to make more of them, right? Just play the numbers basically. But there's some deeper stuff here as well. Another one, another reason is that it allows you to have an adult relationship with your partner. Okay. Now what is an adult relationship? Well, okay. The management consultant, Peter Block, a very smart guy, he knows what he's talking about. He defines an adult relationship as one in which you can ask for what it is that you want and be all right with the answer being no. Pretty good definition. You think about the relationship you have with maybe young kids. They don't have an adult relationship. They ask for what they want, expecting to get it. And if, you, and if they get no is the answer, they get all upset about it. That's not what adults do. You need to be able to ask for what you want and be okay with the answer being no. And showing your wife or your partner or whoever it is that you are able to have an adult relationship is going to go a really long way to her not feeling like she needs to take care of you because the least sexy thing in the world to a woman is feeling like their man needs to be taken care of like a child okay we don't want that relationship and that's the relationship you get into when you react a whole lot um, especially negatively or even positively right to her responses when you proposition it okay you need to have an adult relationship Another reason it works. You're being assertive. You're leading the dance. 
And obviously this is something that women are attracted to, right? Uh, I learned something the other day, very useful, is when you think about respecting a woman, women, it's not the same thing in the way that you respect other dudes, other men. For men, respect generally means like deference, okay, looking up to somebody. But what we don't we don't want to do that with our partner. Sure, you wanna you wanna you know see them as an equal, but we don't want to defer to them, right? They don't want that either. They want you to show your respect for them by showing consideration. And what does consideration mean? It means taking on the burden of making choices. Where are we going for dinner? Planning the dates, this sort of thing, and being the person who expresses interest in having sex. Okay, so you're showing assertiveness, you're showing leadership, you're showing that you're willing to put yourself out there, that you have the confidence to do that. Again, these are all attractive qualities. Okay, there's also the issue of safety. Now, for men, a lot of what is so attractive about a sexual encounter or just really anything comes down to like the experience. How good is the experience going to be? So we'll often say like, oh, I'll make sure you, you know you feel great and oh, we'll do all this and that and okay, it'll be amazing. And this is much less appealing to a woman than the idea of it being safe, comfortable, not a whole lot to do, okay? So instead of saying, you know, like, it'll be this amazing thing and it'll be so good, Instead, it's going to be much more useful and much more, it's going to raise your chances of, of actually you know, getting what you're looking for to err on the side of like, oh, we don't have to spend a whole lot, you know, just, I just want to, I just want to reconnect with you. Make it simple. Don't make it into a big production. Okay. And one of the reasons for this is safety. Women really, 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 in general, in general, care about safety. Safety is super important to them. Okay, and one way that you can show that she's safe and therefore, you know, she's she's in a place where she can open up, where where she can trust. Okay, is to not react negatively because if you react negatively when she says, "Sorry, I can't do it tonight for whatever reason." what you're showing her is that she can't necessarily trust you to be there when things aren't exactly the way you want them to be. You are, you know, you're basically undermining the sense of safety and trust that is going to be, you know, sort of a, what she needs to feel comfortable enough to be vulnerable because you know, sex is a vulnerable thing for everybody, but especially for, for women, right? And it's a vulnerable thing. Okay. So, really the takeaway, and this is the takeaway that goes for everything in your life. Stoic lesson, do what you must, let happen what may, okay? Things are gonna happen and you can't control them. If you can't control the way she's gonna respond, then it's not your concern. What your concern is, is just what do you need to do, okay? What, what is in your best interest? What can you control? And what you can control is taking a lot of shots, um, you know, proposing a lot and reacting less, regardless of the kind of uh, response that you get. Okay, now this is not just me talking on my ass. There is a lot of research on this. Men who reacted less. Uh, this is research out of John Gottman, who's probably the leading marriage researcher in um, the history of forever, and he found that men who proposed having sex. And reacted less. This is even independent of the number of times that they proposed, but just who reacted less, especially less negatively, when their partner said that they couldn't, ended up having quite a bit more sex. It was something like three times as much sex. Okay, so give it a try. It really changed changed the game for me, and I really hope that it does for you as well. Because I want you all to be happy and healthy. All right. Thanks for watching.